Hello everybody. Uh, you are going to start learning how to do your very first project for this year and that is going to be you are going to be creating tutorials based on the web tool that you randomly select today. So let's get started thinking about how you're going to sign in. For those of you who have turned in your permission slips this is nothing new. You already should know how to do this. If you do not know your uh, student ID, you should ask. Uh, Mrs. Dorado has it for you. And this is how we start. You're going to sign in to Google using your account. And again, you are going to have the first letter of your first name and your last name, all one word, unless you know otherwise because you may have the same first letter and last name as someone else at ersd.org and your password is going to be that 18000 number with those last four numbers that are yours specifically and then you're going to sign in and right up here you're going to see that you're logged in I want you to click on this nine square and then I want you to click down here and click more I don't have it. You probably will. There is something, there's a little icon that's just like these icons that says classroom. If you don't, then up in this address bar, you're going to type classroom.google.com and hit enter. And it's going to bring you to the classroom. You will have something that either says uh, this little box here that says Bixhorn 6th grade 1415, it'll ask you to join it. If you don't, then it's going to pull up something that has a little plus sign in the corner up top here. If you click that plus sign, it'll ask if you want to join as a student. At that point, you're going to type in this code 67NXVLQ. Okay, that is the code that you're going to type in if you do not get that box that pops up automatically for Bixhorn that says join. You'll notice right here, right off the bat, you have your very first assignment. Okay, and it's a web 2.0 tutorial. You'll have different things that are already attached. My example, a template that you are ultimately going to put all of your tutorials in that I'm going to be sharing. You're going to have an ex a timeline of when things are due, a description of the project, which I suggest you go through on your own time there. There's a little uh, thing that I have up there already that kind of explains it and has all of the links in one place. That's also in the calendar on uh, my website, so you can see that. I have the rubric of how you're going to be graded for this. And this Pathfinder, this is where you're going to be putting all of your research. So you'll notice over here it says each student will get a copy. Each student will get a copy. If you click on this hyperlink of the assignment, you're going to find when you come here that there's going to be those two documents the template for the web 2.0 presentation and the pathfinder they're both going to be in there when you click on that hyperlink that means that right off the bat you click on those two documents and start typing into them and they will automatically save you already have a copy which is great so different from last year where you had to go into your email, open the document, make a copy, share it back to me. It's already been done. Here are the websites. Uh, Screencast-O-Matic is how you're going to be taking a, a recording of this whole area here so that you can create your tutorials just like I'm doing my tutorial right now. Uh, and then these are the three websites that you're going to be looking into and telling me how to do certain things in. One of them is Glogster. You didn't really get into Glogster last year and I want you to really 
figure out how to use it and then create tutorials. Museum Box, which is brand new, and Vokey, which I would also like you to really explore and tell me how to do certain things. Okay? Um, let me just show you a little bit of my example. And this is me, Little Bird Tales example. I use Little Bird Tales. And there's the title page by Petra Schoen. That's me. A description of the tool. Right off the bat, you're going to have to tell me a little something about what your tool does. What is its function? Okay? And then you start getting into your tutorials where you take your screencasts of how to do things. So, how to log into the site, how to create a new project, and then you can even go in. These are where your videos are going to come. Uh, create your tail, find your assignment, the best thing you can do is from this page, click on My Lessons. In My Lessons, there will be all of the assignments that were uh, given to you by me. And uh, what you're going to do is the creature feature, so creature feature storybooks. Just to give you an idea. Okay. And you're going to keep going through how to add pictures, how to add text. Each of these pages in the slideshow, you are going to up upload your own video that you've created in Screencast-O-Matic. Okay? Um, again, your Pathfinder is where you're going to type in your research. This is what you should be focusing on this week. After you get the assigned web tool, you can go in here. You have to start filling out this information. Ignore the script for right now. That's after your research is done. The script is what you are going to say when you are creating your screencasts of the tutorials. Okay, so you have website's name and address, description of the web tool, how do you log in, how do you create a new project, how do you add pictures? How do you add video? This is where you're going to do all of your research. Once I've okayed the research, that's when you're going to write your script of what you're going to say over your screencasts. Okay? Um, again, you are going to choose today one of these three web tools. I am going to give you an option of either working alone or working with someone else who has the same web tool and doing the research and creating the tutorials for this project. Um, that means that if you are working with someone else or more than one person, you need to one, you know, make one person the main person and they are going to share the document with the other people in their group and you are all going to type into that Okay. If you are working alone, you're just going to type into the Pathfinder on your own and create your own screencasts. Okay. Um, anything that you want to ask, if you want to share things like, who has this web tool? Does anyone, anyone want to work with me? That kind of stuff you can do in this announcement thing right here. I will post who got what by Friday so that you can see who has what tool and basically that is what you are going to be doing with this project. If you have any questions you can of course email me. Um, you will also have the opportunity to come to extra help if you want to come on Friday morning at 8:10. I'll be here. You can email and then I'll be here Wednesday um, but I'm not going to have extra help then, but Thursday at 8.10 or during recess on Thursday and Friday morning at 8.10. So those are going to be my extra help times and you can come and speak to me or you can come to extra help and I will be happy to help you figure these things out. So I look forward to seeing your work. It's due, as you'll see, on November 13th and, uh, we have some time, so enjoy, do a great job, 
Hope you enjoy doing this project. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And I will see you next, uh, well, not next week, but the week after.